Enix, before they merged with Square, could often be viewed as the house that Dragon Quest built. But that doesn't mean they didn't have other games to their credit. Hello, and welcome to SCPO Steel Gaming. My name is Sean O'Donnell, and today I am going to be reviewing Act Razor for the Super Nintendo. So, question remains, like always, is this game worth playing? Is it worth checking out today? Well, let's dive in and find out. Act Razor puts you in essentially dual roles. You play as both God and his angels. And throughout the game, it is your job to help protect and develop the people of the world. Along the way, you have to fight various monsters and enemies. And then you also have to help them build their civilization up. The graphics to Act Razor are beautiful. The stages are very well designed, have a great look and feel to them. All of them are very vibrant and they stand out. Just overall, it, they look fantastic. The character sprites are also amazing to look at. The character of God is great looking. The enemies are all quite varied and stand out. And overall, just everything about this game is incredibly beautiful. And then on the flip side, you have the world building aspect. And that also looks really, really good. The world's a little flatter. It's not as vibrant as the action stages but still looks really, really good. Overall, this is just a great looking game. The music in Act Razor is incredible. This is pound for pound one of the best soundtracks for the Super NES. Every piece of music is awesome. It's either action-packed or somber or joyful. It's just, it's a total package all across the board. I love this soundtrack. It's just amazing. <clears throat> The game is split into two sections. You have your action stages where you control God, and then you have your world building where you control one of his angels. So the action stages, there are two per area. One where you go in to clear out the monsters so your people can start to develop their culture. And then the second part where some greater threat shows up to destroy what all you have done. In these sections, it turns into a side-scrolling action platformer. You'll explore through the stages, fight off enemies using your sword or magic, and basically your end goal is to reach the boss of that area and defeat them. The game is timed, but it's generally not that big of an issue. The difficulty aspect of this is perfectly balanced. It's challenging, but it's not overbearing. And that's really good for this game because there's a lot that's going on here. You'll have a lot of enemies to fight through. There'll be traps, what have you. But overall, 
this part of the game is a lot of fun. I really enjoy the action stages here. So the second part of the game is the world building aspect. And this one's a little slower paced, but it's not at all boring. So what you basically do in this mode is you'll go through and you'll help the people build their homes by building the roads to navigate them through. You'll clear out obstacles, whether it's trees or stones or poisoned water. And to do so, you'll need to utilize magic. Now, there will be enemies that will creep up to either try and steal people to basically eat them or destroy what all you have done. <clears throat> And in this case, what you'll need to do is lead the people to the monster's lair so that they can seal them. The goal in this section is once you get all the monster layers sealed, that will trigger the final bit of that stage. So that, my friends, is Actraiser. And I'm not going to lie, this game's amazing. It is a lot of fun. It's an amazing, amazing title. I love this game from top to bottom. It was one of the first Super NES games that I played, and it blew me away. And to this day, it still blows me away, more than just a nostalgia aspect. This game is beautiful, and it is amazing. And it's one of those that should have spawned into a much greater franchise than what it is. Really, this is one of the best games on the Super NES, and it's a shame Square Enix doesn't do more with it. Even a re-release would be amazing. But as it stands, it's a fantastic game. And if I had any real criticism, it's that the world-building aspect is a little on the shallow side. But if that's the only negative thing I have to say about the game, then it kind of speaks for itself. <clears throat> this is an incredible title. It is well worth the time to check out. So, that's Actraiser. A fantastic game, top to bottom. Anyway... Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.